What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House with another DCO commentary. Uh, this commentary I bring you today uh, to uh, talk about the uh, state of the game right now, as far as uh, my perspective goes, and I'm pretty sure it's the perspective of a lot of people um, playing the game right now, especially those of us who've been playing since uh, beta uh, here on the uh, PS3. And it's uh, talking about, you know. I mean, I've, I mean, I'm a huge supporter of this game, and I, mean, I love playing this game, and it, it, I've, I've had fun, a lot of fun, uh, you know, enjoyed, you know, you know, meeting, you know, everybody that I've uh, played this game with, uh, as far as grouping up PvP, PvE, stuff like that, uh, especially, uh, everybody that I got in my league, um, real talk, you know, a uh, quick talk about, you know, like, Meta Justice, and, you know, we've been around since the beta. Um, I've been a member of Meta Justice since the beta, and uh, I step, stepped up. Uh, I got the uh, like the second in command spot um, after launch and everything. And then um, uh, our leader uh, was uh, wasn't um, getting uh, as much play time as uh, he would have liked uh, and everything. So um, he handed out, he handed over the lead to me. And uh, Meta Justice has been it's been a strong, active league since the beta you know all the way through the soe hack and everything even after mega servers you know we were still going strong uh but now um with uh the simple fact that uh you know things haven't been fixed with this game in, in regards to pvp because medjus is a pvp league all right um and you know i mean that's that's why everybody we that's why we get on the game yeah we'd get on and uh you know, get our, uh, do our you know, our raids and everything like that. Get our feats and you know, and those raids and stuff like this, so we can get the marks and everything for the gear and stuff. But you know, our main focus has always been PVP. It's always been PVP. Um, you know, we cut our teeth um, on eight v eight Australia map. You know, after launch and everything, you see some of my older videos from um, our PVP um, arenas there. Doing a lot of eight v eights, just going in there. You know, whole whole league. Uh, pre-made going in and just wrecking people 8v8s you know and then we branched off back into the you know the 44s and especially uh, moon base 5v5 for the uh, tdm uh aspect of it and uh we've been you know rolling people there too and it's not saying you know that we you know we're unbeatable we've never been beaten we have been beaten um, there's a lot there's plenty of uh, good villain leagues out there that uh not only just get not only uh give us uh competition but um, have uh, driven us down into the ground before, uh, so you know I'm not you know trying to sit here and say that you know we, we're you know maybe this is unbeatable, but the current state of the game, especially in regards to uh, the PvP queues, is uh, it's, it's I'm just gonna flat out say it's it's basically it's killed my league, it's killed my league because we're not. PvP has not gotten the attention that it's supposed to have gotten. It should have gotten since launch. All right, I'm gonna start sounding a little bit mad here, but you know, I mean, my league is important to me. You know, playing this game. You know, I enjoy playing this game with all my friends on here that I've made in this um, since January, and uh, everybody that's in my league. But you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty much killed my league. You know, and it's you know, it's not you know, you know, it's not this normal stuff that you know usually kills a PV. Uh, a league, you know, or a clan or a guild, you know, in an MMO, you know, it wasn't interleague drama. It wasn't, you know, all, you know, the, uh, you know, differences of opinion and everything like that. It usually splits a league up. Med Justice has never split. We've never merged with anybody. We've never had to, you know, we've, we've always built our players up from within. And, uh, we've, you know, not, not really dominated, but we've been one of the top leagues since beta in this game and now here we are sitting here uh 10 months in and uh game's not even a year old yet and uh some you know a lot of the top leagues including med justice aren't there anymore all right i mean yeah we're still around we still got a few people getting on and uh playing the game and i've been getting on a little bit more lately uh since i've uh, started feeling better but uh you know, even since free to play, we've had a few people come back, but you know, I haven't seen a lot of them lately. Uh, you know, that's, part of that's probably because I haven't been on again, haven't been on a game much this past week because you know I haven't been sick and I was playing a little bit of Arkham City. But um, the, a lot of guys um, in my league right now 
aren't even on the game. Haven't been on the game in over a week, and uh, it, you know they've moved on to other games, and that includes some of the top lead guys that I've been playing this game with since launch in Meta Justice. You know, Carlos has been on uh, Modern Warfare Three. Uh, Necron's been busy with uh, work. Dance is um, busy with school. You know, and a lot of other people just you know moved on. They're playing different games. Hades playing Saint Row, Saints Row now. Um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating, and the main reason why they've all moved on, and or why they ha- aren't you know making a little bit more time to get onto the game to uh, play is because they have not fixed the PvP queues. PvP queues. That is the biggest thing that is killing this game for a lot of the long-term players. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I've got lots of alts. I've got thir- I've got I've got twelve alts. I could you know probably be doing stuff on. I uh, you know I could be uh, you know running PVE with you know and getting you know marks and gear and uh, getting skill points up for them. But I, I you know I played this game for the competitive PVP aspects of it, and I'm not getting it anymore. I'm not getting that anymore. Uh, you know, the hero queues are horrendous. It, it should not take me 35 to 45 minutes to get into one match and then, you know, end up going into a match against, you know, a bunch of randoms who, you know, don't really know what they're doing. You know, it's just, it, it's pointless. You know, why do I want to wait 45 minutes to get into a match that's going to last maybe five? You know, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, I'm a big supporter of this game. I love this game. I'm not, probably not going to stop playing it for a very long time. You know, but uh, the fact is that, you know, it's it's the, this, this, the inattention to PvP has basically killed my league. And I know it's happened to a lot of other people, too. I mean, yeah, there's options and all that, you know, go out there and, you know, merge with other leagues and everything like that. But, you know, Mad Justice, you know, has got, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, and I know there's going to be there's detractors out there that are going to argue against this, but Meta Justice is it's 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 got a, it's a legacy league, okay? You know, we've been around since beta, we've been strong since beta up until this point, and the lack of attention to the PvP is killing it. I mean, the biggest thing they need to do right now to fix PvP in this game, so that heroes are wanting to play on the on their heroes instead of playing on their villains more. The biggest thing they need to do is freaking give us the damn same faction queues. Give us cross-faction PvP. Let us queue in against heroes. I don't care. I just want a PvP. You know, you know, and being not being able to do that, you know, and I keep repeating this, it's, it's killing this game. It's killing this game for a lot of the hardcore PvP guys in it. I mean, you know, now we got some of these villain leagues coming up here. That and, you know, quite honestly, you know, the, the, some of these villain leagues that are uh, coming up, you know, Meta Justice has rolled over them several times before in the past, and now you know they're you know they're being able to come out and say you know, and I'm I'm not taking away from them either. I mean, yeah, they're they're tough, they're tough, but you know now they're being all come out, come out and say that you know they're a top tier league in this game and meta justice isn't and i can't argue against that because we can't freaking queue because nobody wants to bother getting on this game and waiting 45 minutes just to get into a damn arena they need to give us same faction queues they we need it now we don't need it update seven or update eight this needs to come out now i mean it it they need to give it to us when the uh lightning dlc hits that's when we need it Seriously, I mean, if they're really one, I mean, yeah, that, that's going to, you know, give people stuff to do and all that, leveling up their uh, lightning characters and everything, but, or their electricity characters, but we need the same faction cues, and we need them now. We need to be able to have challenge modes. We need to be able to, you know, queue into an, um, a lobby, you know, like with uh, Modern Warfare 3, set up a lobby to where, you know, okay, to, you know, yeah. You can check to see, okay, who's who's queued up for 5v5. Okay, then you got a Med Justice, you got an Exclusive, you got uh, Victorious Secret, you've got a Nasty, you've got Replacements, you got Soldiers of the Light, you know, any of those leagues. Okay, those guys, are they're queued up for 5v5. Who, let's, who, who are we going to go against? Okay, let's queue up against the Exclusive guys. Let's do that. They need, we need, we need that, okay? 
I mean, because let's face it, at the end of the day, you know, I've almost got 100 skill points right now. The only thing I really need to queue up for, I mean, yeah, I still need to get my 500 duos and challenges and alerts done and everything like that, but the only thing I really need those for are, like, the marks, you know, okay? You know, I, I still I have a tier, one tier 1 set and one tier 2 set to complete. The only, the only PvE I need to do, right, to get, you know, some of the quicker feats is the damn uh, FOS raids. And that's only once a week. So what am I supposed to do for the rest of the week? I mean, you know, that's, that's you know, three raids. Okay, so maybe I do, you know, one of those a day. Okay, that's an hour or more out of my game time for a day. What am I supposed to do for the rest of the time I'm on the game? You know, I want to PvP. I can't do that, though, because i got to wait 45 minutes to get on the game. You know, and this is sound like a big bitch fest and everything, but... The main reason why I wanted to do this video is, you know, and this has been a long time coming, to be honest with you, is, uh, you know, I've been doing the Source podcast, and a lot of my frustration at all this has been bleeding over into the podcast whenever we start to talk about PvP, so I'm just trying to get out of my system right now, and I know there's a lot of people out there that agree with me, you know, and I know that, you know, there's, uh, you know, even, you know, a lot of the villains, even the, the ones that don't don't like me, would like to be able to, like, see me in arena, you know, I mean, you guys, you know, you know, see me in arenas just so they can, you know, say, oh, yeah, we, we did beat you guys, you know, and that's fine, that's fine, I mean, I get beaten in arenas, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, throw a fit about that, the only thing I'm throwing a fit about is the fact that I can't get into the damn arenas, you know, you know, when we finally do get a good pre-made group together, you know, nobody's queuing, nobody's, nobody else is queuing up for the fives, and then when we do get into it, we go up against a pug, you know, and it's a bunch of, you know, brand new villains coming up that, you know, maybe don't exactly know what they're doing, or it's not a balanced group. That is the biggest thing that is driving me so freaking crazy about this game, is the inattention to PvP. Everybody's more interested in the PvE stuff. You know, even look at some of these fixes they've done uh, here lately with uh, the um, attributes and everything. You know, Dominus has never, never had a factor at all in PvP, and now... You know they're they've, they're putting dominance back on the armor, and they've actually you know incorporated it in a way to where you know some people may you know the dominance is going to help you know tanks and trollers out. You know okay that's fine you know new mechanics I mean that's that's nice that's interesting you know that's nice to have, but you know that's not fixing PVP that's not and that's not new content. All right well, one thing you know is a lot of you people need to get in through your heads too. You know, I've been talking about this on the forums. You know, I still made a post up, you know, about where's our where's our PvP content. Somebody posted up all the fixes for the damn, uh, all the uh, fixes from the patch notes. That's not new content. That's that's fixes to the game. Okay, that's not new content. New content is like new maps. You know, where's this Hall of Doom map that was mentioned um, a few webcasts ago by uh, the devs? Where's where's that at? You know, we haven't even heard anything about that yet. You know, where is, uh, you know, what kind of a map is that going to be? Is it going to be a 5v5 TDM match map? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. You know, I, I've, I've, su I've been suggesting it for a while, ever since the uh, Hardlight uh, DLC came out. You know, let's have a uh, 4v4 uh, Team Deathmatch uh, Owen Science Cells map. I mean, it's, it's just reuse the map. I mean, you know, and, you know, and as much as I don't like them rehashing PvE content, I would not mind seeing, you know, the Owen Science Cells map used for a 4v4 team deathmatch map. That would be awesome. You know, but, you know, it's obvious, you know, I mean, the, the developers, they say that, you know, they, they love PvP, you know, okay? And to some extent, I can agree with them, but in other aspects, in a lot of aspects, I, I don't see it. I don't see it because, you know, we get all this new PvE content, new PvP pve content comes out with every update every dlc that's great and each one of those things has new feats added to it each one has new feats added to it we have not had new feats added for pvp since they introduced the tier 2 armor that's it that is the most recent yeah okay the 2v2 map you're seeing here in the 8v8 map fos map you know okay, those count towards the uh, win streak feat so what? Where's my consecutive uh, or my progressive win feats for those for these two maps? 
You know, where's my 50 wins in 2v2 back cave? Where's my 50 wins in um, 8v8 FOS? You know, it's... See, it's, it's little things like that that tell me and tell everybody else that's playing this game that deep that PvP is not their main focus. And I don't know how you can not have at least half of your focus on PvP content for a game that you release on a console. On a console. Where the majority of people that play games on consoles, you know, PS3, Xbox, you know, they play it for the multiplayer. They play it, you know, and not for the co-op. They play it for the... You know, the player versus player. Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. Hell, Uncharted 3's got freaking uh, multiplayer uh, versus maps on there. Uh, they've done it with Assassin's Creed now. And those are two heavily story-based, you know, games. Uh, Uncharted series is a perfect example of that. You know, Uncharted 2 did not need a multiplayer. Did not need a multiplayer. But you know what? They did it. They did it anyways. And it didn't take anything away from the storyline, from like the main campaign. You know, you got games like Modern Warfare 3 or your know, Black Ops. They come out. The campaign may last four to six hours. That's it. Obviously, their main focus is the multiplayer. All right. SOE is showing us with DCUO. Their main focus is the PVE side. You know, and we got you know, and why weren't why weren't same faction queues added? You know in at launch with this game okay you know and you know, as far as everybody arguing about the whole you know oh it's it's gonna it would ruin the storyline you know heroes don't fight heroes bull 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 heroes fight heroes all the freaking time i mean look at the new 52 going on right now freaking justice league issues the first couple issues there from what i've seen you got green lantern superman and batman fighting each other you know, three of the big top guys in the freaking uh, Justice League, and they're fighting each other in the first couple of issues. Heroes fight heroes all the freaking time. You know, villains fight villains. You know, they all compete against each other, and, and, and that's what it is. You stop looking at the PvP as, you know, being part of the story, because it's not. It's part of the competitive multiplayer online play. And that's what we're asking for. We're asking for these same faction cues. And I know they say they're working at it. They're looking at it. And they're working on trying to figure out how to put it in there without breaking the game. I don't know how it's going to break the game. You guys have added dueling in. All right. It's not going to break break anything with the game or ruin anything with the game. All right. You guys have added dueling in. So, I mean, that's telling me that same faction cues, you know, arenas is coming. But I want to know when. I want to know when. I want an update. I don't want to hear any more about, you know, seeing you. Know, I mean, this 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 electricity DLC is coming out. It's great. I'm I'm, I'm happy to see it. You know, because I know a lot of people are happy to see it. It's going to give me something else to do in the game. But at the end of the day, when I get done, you know, leveling up, you know, my new lightning character, uh, you know, a few levels uh, for maybe an hour or two. Uh, at the end of the day, though, I'm going to want to come back onto my main and get back into the arenas against some of these villain leagues that, you know, I enjoy going up against because it's fun as, you know, and I enjoy the competition. But with the way queues are right now, it's impossible. It's, it's frustrating as hell not to be able to get in there, you know, and, you know, make some of these guys eat their words, you know, seriously. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, I'm interested to hear what everybody else here has to say. Um, I know there's a lot of people, and I know there's guys. There's a lot of people that play on the villain side too. They've gotten tired of tired of the PvP because it's ruined competition for them. Because you know, all the you know really competitive guys who you know have the time or care to um try to uh, um level up and or uh, grind up the gear and everything for uh, their villains um, a lot of the heroes have switched over to villain side for the faster queues all right you know the, you, we can't sit here and wait for the population to balance out on its own all right we need the same faction PvP queues we need new maps we need the feats that's the biggest thing too we need the feats if you guys say that you are that you love PvP and 
you know, you're, you're putting in support for it and, you know, and you guys, you know, want, you know, want to do more with it, prove it, put some freaking action behind your words and do it devs, because right now I'm extremely frustrated. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm also on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think there. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.